Good morning. Today we're here at Dollar Tree. We're going to go in, look around, check out some of the new items, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so since we come into Dollar Tree here, we're going to cover a lot of the things some people have been asking about was the ranch dressing here. These are 8 ounces for $1.25. Uh, so not too bad of a deal. We've been seeing 16 ounces uh, anywhere from $2.99 to $3.99. So still value here. I'm not a fan of Hamburger Helper, but I will say it is only $1.25 here. It is for the 5.9 ounce boxes. So the same size as what you're going to get at Kroger's or anywhere else. Uh, they have been close to $2 pretty much everywhere we go. So value here nor pasta sides are pretty much the same as they are everywhere else dollar 25 a bag so if we were to do the math on these nature valley bars here you get four bars so it's two packs with four bar two bars in each pack um so dollar 25 they are 3.99 at kroger so you factor in three of these so 250 uh 375 so right about the same price as what you're going to pay at kroger uh, for the 12 bars so a little bit less about a quarter less now here's something we've been getting a lot of comments on are the spices now a lot of people have been saying they're not worth a dollar 25 um that is true we've been finding a lot of spices still in stores like walmart and other stores for a dollar um these at a dollar 25 i don't feel are as worth it anymore they do have some good ones that we've gotten some uh, pretty good comments on. The lemon pepper here and the Italian seasoning. Uh, we got really good comments the last time we were here, so that is something to think about. So far, I'm not seeing any new products. We've been getting a lot of comments that Dollar Tree's been getting a lot of new stuff. So far, this is pretty much all, uh, all old stuff. I don't really see anything new here. I do some, see some things that have come back in, like the lemon flavored shortbread. Uh, we have tried these. They're okay. Uh, we got some good comments on it, though. $1.25, it is 4.6 ounces. Um, you know, and again, at Dollar Tree and anywhere else, I would always check the expiration dates or best if used by dates. One thing I will say is they are very low. On a lot of different stuff here they do have the uh, happy snack animal crackers here that we got some comments on i don't know it's an awful small box for a dollar 25 lots of shrinkflation going on here at dollar tree they do have this seven ounce box of vanilla wafers they are the bite size i even got banana pudding here on the front of it here these are obviously everything in here is a dollar 25 so i don't need to keep saying that uh, never tried these vanilla wafers. Let me know down in the uh, comments if you have and if they're any good. Uh, because if they are, we've been seeing the vanilla wafers, the Nabisco ones, go up in price. They are $4.99 for a box, for one box at Kroger. So there could be some value here. And that's really what we kind of look for when we come to Dollar Tree is how much value are we actually getting with products? Uh, how much smaller are they? Are we saving money? Are, are we getting our value out of it? That's kind of the things that we check out when we come here. Now we have seen the Green Giant canned vegetables go up to $1.25 at Kroger. They were a dollar forever. Uh, let's see here. These are best if used by December of 2023. So about a year and a half on that. Uh, they got some Organic Valley tomato sauce. I haven't seen this. This might be new. Not really sure. Uh, doesn't expire till May of 2024, so yeah. We have gotten comments on the Yoka Soba, Yaki Soba, however you like to say that. Uh, $1.25 here, it's pretty much the same as it is everywhere. More importantly, they have it in. I've gotten a few comments over, on these over the last month or so that you haven't been able to find them. We did see them at Walmart also, so if you can't find them at Dollar Tree, they do have them at Walmart. So the SpaghettiOs and the Chef Boyardee are now a pretty decent price because we've seen that, well, Chef Boyardee we can usually find for $1.25, but SpaghettiOs have gone up to $1.50. A lot of stores, Chef Boyardee's gone up to $1.50 too, uh, but we can find like the four packs, four for $5, which makes them the same price, $1.25. We continue to see Campbell's go up in price. One thing I will say about the ones at Dollar Tree here is they are 25% bigger on the chicken noodle soup 
and 30% bigger on the chicken and rice and the tomato. So that's a pretty decent deal. Here's a little area that we can find some value and some not. So the regular Starkiss tuna cans we can always find for a dollar somewhere. We saw that at Meyer they were a dollar a can, dollar twenty-five here obviously. But the albacore we see anywhere from a dollar twenty-nine at Meyer to a dollar forty. And so most places that we found it, it's a dollar forty a can. So dollar twenty-five is now a value. It wasn't a couple months ago, but all of a sudden it is today. The Brunswick, in my opinion, are these little tuna snack things. I used to get these all the time when they were cheap. Now at $1.25, still good compared to what you're going to pay for the Bumblebee in a lot of uh, stores. We saw they were $2.09 a pack at Target and right around $2 at uh, Kroger also. Last time we came here, uh, somebody said that these armor... Uh, Vienna sausages were cheaper than $1.25. I don't think so. Um, I believe they're $1.25. There's no sign that says that they're 70 cents or whatever. Um, $1.25 is what it is. They do have some of these uh, Beach Cliff sardines that we got some comments on. A um, couple different kinds there. We've got some of the hot dog chili. Somebody asked about hot dog chili. Yeah, Southgate. That's it. Uh, $1.25 here. Kind of looks like the Hormel chili can, so if it tastes anything like that, it's a pretty good deal because the Hormel chili is right around $2 a can. So as far as sugar goes, the only sugar that I'm finding is this Azul sugar. It is one pound. Uh, it is $1.25, so I don't know. Uh, don't know much about this. Never tried it before. And as far as flour goes, the only flour I see here is the Nancy Jane. This, Yeah, okay, so this is two pounds. $1.25 all purpose flour. I do like how they have these little Betty Crocker packets. Um, they're not very big. Uh, the cookie, chocolate chip cookie mix, says it makes about 12 2 inch cookies, so not very big, but it's only $1.25, seven and a half ounces. I believe these used to be 10 ounces because I remember the bags were a little bigger. Um, but you know, they got the muffin mix. This makes six muffins, so yeah, you're not going to get a ton out of it, but at least a little bit. I like that they carry it. Here's some of the Bisquick original all-purpose baking mix here. This is five and a half ounces. Um, yeah, not going to get much out of that, but, you know, it's good that they carry it. They got their little teeny tiny things of coffee make that's come back in. Let's see when that expires. It's got to be April 26, 2024, so yeah, got a while on that. Um, yeah, for $1.25, you're not going to get much, but hey, you know, it gets you by, or it's a nice little travel size. I have tried this uh, roasted ground coffee, premium quality, no title, just coffee. Uh, it's okay. It'll, it'll get you by in a pinch. You know, good for traveling or something. It is only six ounces. This is the hazelnut. I remember I had the Colombian, but they don't even have the Colombian right now, just the hazelnut. They also have this instant coffee here. Uh, 2.82 ounces. I said dollar 25. You're not going to get much, but you know, as prices are going up in all the stores, uh, we are starting to find value in Dollar Tree again. They don't have much, but um, somebody told me that this tea right here, this all natural tea, is really good. Plus, you get 60 tea bags. So if it is good, you know, that's that's a pretty good deal. Uh, they do have some of the to vive uh brands here the apple and cranberry somebody said was really good don't know much about this one uh, but they do have some other ones herbal helpers energy boost immunity boost different kinds of herbal teas here here's something you don't see every day magical poop marshmallows poop from a unicorn we did point out the last time we were at dollar tree that all of the candy here has been shrink flated uh, they are all different sizes but they they've cut basically a lot of these hard candies and some of the other candies in half since they raised their price goes up from a dollar to a dollar 25 gives it a couple weeks and then all the products coming in were half the size crazy so here's something interesting they do have reynolds wrap 25 foil sheets what's the total size okay so that's not that great of a deal i was gonna say because you can get 75 feet uh, pretty much for five dollars everywhere, which is still expensive. I was just trying to see if it was worth a dollar twenty-five for that. It is if you're in a pinch or if you're on your way, like I said, out of town or something like that. Be good to have. It's just a backup.
but yeah, not not too much value in that. You would spend probably eight dollars to get the equivalent of seventy five feet. So you would think at first glance when they when you see the size of the box, you're like, wow, for these storage slider gallon bags, that's a great deal. There's only five of them in here, so not a great deal, no deal. Today we're playing deal or no deal, no deal. So a little bit of a decent deal here is uh, the Sure Fresh sandwich bags, 40 of them for $1.25. I mean, that's a pretty good price. Get the little bit of a smaller ones here with the zipper seal for 45 bags. So I would say that this is definitely worth $1.25. I would pay $1.25 for that dinosaur folder before I would pay $1.25 for these plungers with a question mark. So we get a lot of good comments on the totally awesome laundry detergent here. Um, one thing I will say, it is 21 loads. These are $1.25 now. So still an okay deal, but we, we have seen at Big Lots that they are a dollar. So if you have a Big Lots near you and you like this stuff, save a quarter. Although I don't know if it's worth the extra trip to Big Lots to save a quarter. Still, I've heard that it's really good laundry detergent for $1.25. So I know you see these bounced dryer sheets and you think, wow, $1.25 for 15 of them sounds like a terrible deal. I saw 40 the other day for uh, three, $3.99, $4. So it's about the same, really. Usually when me and Jessica go on vacation or something or we drive out of town, you know, we like to have a couple little... Uh, lately we've been buying like those little plastic bottles well we've got them all and we'll just fill it up with our other stuff but you know it's nice to have a little thing like this that you're only spending a buck dollar 25 on here it's six loads you're probably not even going to do six loads on vacation but whatever little bit you got back whatever little bit you have left you can bring back I do feel like things like these foam cups, we get a lot of comments on paper products and stuff like that. I do think that these are worth $1.25. We're not going to find hardly anything for a dollar anymore. So, you know, 45 of these cups, if you're taking them to a party or just to have, you know, I mean, it's good they got them. Um, 20 plates for $1.25, though, this cheap foam. I don't know about that. Even though it says hefty, I feel like that's real cheap. Uh, they do have these paper plates, 10 of them, 10 of them for $1.25. This is the stuff you come to Dollar Tree for. Um, this kind of stuff is well worth it. They got some really cool designed dish towels, $1.25 oven mitts. Uh, you know, this stuff I feel is what you come here for. Definitely worth it. Uh, especially on all the dish towels. They have kitchen appliance. We're not going to go over all of it, but uh, different little kitchen utensils and stuff like that. And all the birthday stuff, the bags, the gift bags, the cards, uh, birthday cards, stuff like that, wrapping paper. Uh, we're not going to go over all that stuff, but, you know, all that stuff still for $1.25 is better than spending three, four, five, six dollars at Kroger or Target for it. So, you know, all these little things, definitely worth it here at Dollar Tree. We've seen toilet paper kind of skyrocket too lately. So um, this is a uh, total 48.8 square feet is the total length of all this toilet paper here. So I don't really know what to compare that to. These are small rolls though, I will say. Um, but $1.25 for that, you know, it's like to be in here and not want to have to go to another store, I could see getting it then. They've got these McCormick storage containers, uh, two packs for $1.25. I feel like that's pretty close to the same as what it is everywhere else. Uh, I saw four packs, I think, at Kroger, the Rubbermaid. It was a four pack for like $3.49. So yeah, that's not too bad of a deal. We have had a couple comments on ramen, so I thought I would just point out that they do have, these are five packs, they're not the six packs, but they're like $1.67 for a six pack at Kroger. So $1.25 for a five pack here, I don't feel it's too bad. They are a lot lower, but look at that. They got the shrimp one that somebody asked about, and they do have uh, some Goya beans here, which can hold some value. We see Goya beans going anywhere from $1.49 to $2, so for $1.25 a can, you know, not, not terrible. Check this out. Uh, it is a little tiny bit smaller. Uh, this is the 18 ounce. I believe the one that we get is 20 ounces. Not too sure though. It looks a little wider too. That might actually be the same size, but this is uh, the one we use for our meatloaf. 
a lot of people were fans of it. This stuff is really good. $1.25 here. So that's a pretty good deal. So considering you're going to pay right about $4 for a 30-ounce thing of the Craft Real Mayo. What size is this? This is 8 ounces. So for $1.25, eh, it's, you know, about the same if you were to add it up. This expires the 14th of November, 2022. Do have some pickles. They didn't have any pickles the last time we were here. These are the Breckenridge uh, hamburger dill chips. Never tried these before. Eh, I don't know. Um, now they got these too. Oh, that's the same thing right there. They do have the sweet Breckenridge Farms uh, sweet pickles, 11.5 ounces. Huh. Okay. Never tried those either. Looks like they got the relish back in here. I have tried this. This is good. Um, and they've got the mushroom and stems back in. We saw the last time we were at Dollar Tree here. It was this place was empty, so it's good to see anything in here. Uh, the Pampa mushrooms, pieces, and stems. They look pretty good. I remember a couple weeks ago when we were going over some of the Goya products, somebody was asking about the refried beans. Haven't been able to find them. Here they are, $1.25 a can. I don't know how much they are. They they haven't. Uh, I didn't see them at Walmart or Kroger the other day, so good to see we found them. So here's something new. And when I said new at the beginning of the video, we have gotten comments that a lot of new food products and stuff have come into Dollar Tree. Uh, we saw the cookies back there, and this looks new here, the Fieras chili and lime. I've never seen these before. These kind of look like those Takis. Uh, the really hot chips. Pretty low on some stuff in this aisle. Uh, not too surprising because this was another aisle that was practically empty the last time we were here. Uh, $1.25 for these. Uh, people really like these. I've, I think we've tried these before. Um, you know, they're not too bad. I'm not a big fan of those. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's good to see they're getting stuff back in. So another thing, the trunk and size here are these Imperial Nuts. These used to be four ounces, now they're 2.25 ounces, so way smaller. It's kind of funny, that was back when they were a dollar. Of course, it's been a while. Um, these are really good though. I like most of these, I've tried a lot of them. Uh, this is probably one of my favorites, the protein blend here. Peanuts, black raisins, almonds, pepitas, cashews, and uh, dried sweetened cherries. Really good flavor with all this one. That is the protein blend. Um, let's see, there was another one here I really like. It's been a while since I've gotten these. The fruit and nut blend is pretty good. That's not the one I'm looking for, though. Uh, is that it? There was one that had pistachios in it. That's not it. Oh, yeah, it is. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so it's the power blend. Power blend. Uh, this comes with... They're all crunched up here. There we go. Sorry about that. Peanuts, almonds, pistachios, hazelnuts, and walnuts. This one's really good, too. This one's my favorite. Another good one here is this Island Choice Mountain Trail Mix. Uh, it's bigger than you think. Um, this is five ounces at $1.25. Eh, you know, for trail mix, it, it's really good. I, I like it. So I remember a while back, somebody was asking me to check out the vitamins here at Dollar Tree. They don't have many. I never even noticed that they had any. Uh, the People's Choice Vitamins here, Vitamin C, 30 tablets for $1.25. Uh, they got B12 here. So yeah, they do have them. I think your question, you haven't been able to find them in your Dollar Tree. So I don't know. Some of these look like they've just come in, like full packs. So maybe it's starting to come back in. One thing I know for sure is that they're starting to get in a lot of their over-the-counter medicines. We saw this was empty the last time we were here. Uh, didn't see any ibuprofen. They've got it now. Uh, $1.25, let's see, for 30 tablets. Uh, we can get better deals on that. But, um, you know, they got other, other medicines here. That's good to see. Glad they're starting to get some more of this stuff back in. The last time we were here, this place was pretty wiped out on this stuff really kind of depends on where you shop if these soaps are a good deal or not too i feel like a dollar 25 for two bars of zest is a pretty good deal and the irish spring they do have the yardley soaps that we've gotten a lot of comments on dollar 25 uh these are made from london i know we got a lot of good comments on them. they got the coconut the lavender uh, a lot more different uh, i know the last time we came i think the only one they had was the lavender uh, they got the one Wild Rose here somebody asked about. Got this one in. 
Um, let's see. They have, you know, good variety of other ones. I've got some different hand soaps here. You know, this kind of stuff, yeah. We see this kind of stuff go up in the stores all the time in the grocery stores. So for $1.25, I feel like it's going to be about the same price or more anywhere else. And if you're like me and you're taking notes of all your uh, wonderful viewers comments of things to find in the store that you guys are looking for and you run out of pens these are really good ones right here dollar 25 i feel is a very good uh price for those uh some of these really really good pens here um i don't know if maybe that's worth it but you get four these are good i've bought these before um and you know i have the tendency to lose them so uh it's good to be able to find a place where i can get them for a little cheaper than most other places so they don't carry baby formula here at Dollar Tree because I don't think you can buy any kind of baby formula for $1.25. But these things right here, baby wipes and stuff like this, this, this stuff can get really expensive. Little bibs, uh, little burp cloths there, uh, diaper rash cream. Lord knows you're going to go through that. Um, all kinds of stuff here. All this stuff, too, is BPA-free, so that's important to know. Um, got little... Uh, Vaseline things. I, I don't feel like I feel like you can get a big one of these for like a dollar forty nine. So I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, but they got some different baby oils, baby powders, all kinds of baby stuff. Even though she's not here with me, I can pretty much vouch for Jess. Uh, she loves this all the crafting stuff here at Dollar Tree. And I gotta say, this particular Dollar Tree always seems to have a good amount. Uh, you know, all kinds of fun stuff to do. Get away from the TV a little bit. Do some crafting. Uh, this is something that uh, Jessica really loves to do. Uh, a lot of her family, uh, her mom, her mom's a big crafter. You know, she loves doing these kind of things. Um, but yeah, all these fancy stickers and stuff. I mean, this is definitely worth a dollar twenty-five. Now, Jessica is a huge fan of Hobby Lobby, uh, and she, you know, she goes to Hobby Lobby for a lot of this stuff. But some of the simple stuff that cost a fortune at Hobby Lobby, you can get for really cheap here. Well, guys, so. that's all the time I have for Dollar Tree today good day it was good to go in i didn't see any new things though uh we saw those chips and those other cookies other than that i didn't see anything new uh maybe if it was some new toys or maybe some new gift bags or stuff like that but we didn't really check that out we focus a lot on the food to see if there's value and to try and see if we can save a few dollars i wanted to check out some of the things that you guys asked about from the last video we did here looks like a lot of that stuff's coming back in so that's good hopefully it's coming to your stores across the country other all in all great day at dollar tree i always love dollar tree there's a lot of things we do find value here with stuff like kitchen goods kitchen utensils uh little dish towels stuff like that birthday stuff so really awesome guys thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed the video with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is out there. Thank you.